He's not a kind of archetypal villain. He just calmly, quietly goes about the business of running things. And if things aren't run the way he wants them run, then he does something about it. The job in question is to reopen the Ankh-Moor Pork Post Office. The Post Office? Mm. A moment. Choosing Liprig is to do with choosing somebody that he can use, he can manipulate. Excellent. So, as this money is a gift from the gods, it should be used for the public good, should it not? But if Lipwig doesn't toe the line and do what I want him to do, at any moment, you know? It seems a little harsh. But fair. If you lose, you will have outlived your usefulness. There's something about Terry Pratchett's work that reminds me of Dickens. He's created such rich characters. He just has the most extraordinary imagination. And my God, he's prolific, you know. <clears throat> and I love this world that he's created. And I thought, yeah, I'd quite like to be part of it. There are kind of echoes of contemporary life in Terry's work, especially this one, you know. I think there are a few axes that he likes to grind, you know. You're quite right, too. Since you were quiet, the clacks, breakdowns have increased. The speed of messages has slowed and the cost to customers has risen. With respect, my lord, we are answerable to our shareholders, not to you. And perhaps your shareholders will be interested to learn that I am reopening the post office. <laughs> uh, the cast, right across the board, you know, um, are excellent. Really, really good. Really good. Really incredibly talented. Richard Coyle I've not worked with before, who's terrific. He's a great guy. Steve Pemberton and, and Tamsin Grieg, who I mean, monstrously clever. And I've worked with David Suchet two or three times. Timothy West. Really, really good cast. Excellent. You've had a most strenuous day, have you not? It can't be as strenuous as signing death warrants. <laughs> Joke. Oh, I'm sorry. I hadn't realized. Do tell me if you feel obliged to make another.